I have always wanted a Bible that um, did not look like your typical Bible. I didn't want a Bible that had gilded edges or had Holy Bible stamped on it. I wanted a Bible that if you saw it sitting on a bookshelf and you pulled it off, it looked like it had been sitting there for a hundred years and that people had actually read it and used it. I was looking for a Bible that actually read like a book. Um, I had thought I was going to settle on the NIV just because it's a little easier read than uh, the ESV, but I ended up going with the ESV just because I didn't want the maps in the back. I didn't want uh, chapters and verses and, and things like that. I didn't want all the fluff that came with what most Bibles come with. Well, the ESV actually did, did that. So I bought a hardback ESV Bible and it's the ESV Reader's Bible. And there's a company called Paul's Leather Company and what they do is they will actually rebind your Bible in genuine leather. And it's top grain leather. And I'll put a link to their video about them explaining their top grain leather uh, in the comments. But I'll tag them also in this post. I don't even, oh man. So, <clears throat> as my wife and I move forward with adoption, I've got, I've got Bibles that, um, like this is my old Bible, and it's, it, this is just a Bible cover, it's just a sleeve that goes over the cover. I've got old stickers from places I've been, and friends gave me their stickers. Um, there's <laughs> Tyree Carter. But this Bible, actually my mom let me pick it out, it was right probably my senior year of high school, and it's actually lizard skin. I don't know if you can see the texture in that, but it's actually lizard skin. It's an NIV, but you can kind of see, if I flip to the back, I think, somewhere back here, yeah, right here, it's actually coming apart. So I may, I may send this to Paul's Leather Company to have them rebind that. Maybe not. It's a Thompson Chain Reference Bible, uh, so it has a ton of extra stuff in it. I mean, if, I, if I'm holding this open, see the actual Bible ends. Here's Revelation. All the rest of this, sorry, it's kind of yellow in here. Uh, golden hour. Um, this is not the Bible. This is just extra stuff. And I didn't want that. As we, as my wife and I move forward with adoption, I've had this one since high school, early college. It's a big Bible. I wanted something smaller, something I can just sit and read like a book. This one and most have uh, double columns. This has a single column. It does have the, kind of the passage up here, like what you're reading through. And if I go to, let me just find a book, the first book somewhere. Here we go. Not a bad one to turn to. The Song of Solomon. So, there it is, you know. And I just wanted something I can sit and read. The book. Does not have a, it does have, what I love, I do like about the ESV, I think this is why I chose it over um, the NIV, is that it does have a presentation page. Uh, got my name on the bottom. It's in a nice kind of acorn looking tan hide um, with a little bit of overhang. If you're familiar with Bibles, the Almond, the, the, Almond, the Allen Bibles have those. And they've burned, laser engraved my name in it. So I wanted something that, um, as Shannon and I move forward with our kids, I'm gonna get to that. I, I just noticed it does have a couple of maps in the back. But this is, this is Bible, this is Revelation right here. So. Just the Bible. Um, but I wanted something that's gonna age well and something that I can 
hand down to my kids someday. I've got my parents' Bibles. Um, it's just kind of fun to go back and, and look through those and see where they made notes and, and things like that. Um, and yeah, and I just like to sit and read and drink coffee and sit here and do that. But anyway, uh, with all that, uh, this finally came and uh, I was super excited. Paul's Leather Company, thank you so much for this. This is exactly what I was looking for. Um, yeah, I can't wait to just dive into a, a, a brand new Bible, um, make start making new marks and underlining things and thinking about things and writing things. There's no guild on this at all. I just wanted white paper. Um, and as I get older, I needed a little larger font. So it's a little large, it's not large, but it's larger than say this. I think this is probably seven point font. And I think what the, the this one, see that's, that's, that's tiny. And that's a little larger. I think the Bible I got is a, uh, I think it's like nine, nine and a half point font. But yeah, I just wanted something that I can sit and read and, and our kids could say, I remember dad sitting and just reading that, or that this is the Bible I always saw him like reading and stuff. And so, so more for me and for nostalgic purposes and uh, you know, our church actually reads through the ESV Bible and I just wanted something I can grab and take to church. That looks like it's just been sitting on a shelf from the 1800s. Paul's Leather Company. Thank you so much. This. I'm stoked about. <laughs> Great work. Uh, I'm just going to box a bunch of Bibles up. I'm just going to box a bunch of books up and send them to you. Uh, packaging, outstanding. Uh, you know, all this fun stuff. Thank you, Paul's Leather Company. And uh, I got to find a place for this fun bison for, uh, yeah, that's probably going on my coffee mug. So. But yeah, thanks again, Paul's Leather Company. I will, uh, y'all just posted a video today about your top grain leather. I'm gonna link to that. And uh, I'm gonna go sit and read. This is cool. Look at that. They even, they keep this part, which came originally with the book. And then they just re-glue this down over it. Super stoked to see what kind of markings and things, because this is top grain leather, so it's gonna it's gonna just age well over time. This leather, this is also I think a, some sort of top grain leather. Yeah, this this leather cover has lasted longer than the lizard skin leather cover that's actually on the book. So, all right, that's it. Uh, Paul's Leather Company, thank you so much. Super stoked to get the notification that this came in today. And with that, I'm gonna go read. Thanks. <laughs>